These classics definitely deserve to be introduced to a new generation. Shake, shake. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that deserve a digital re-release. For this list, we take a look at games whose appeal has never diminished over time, or that perhaps didn't get the recognition they deserved at the time of their original release. They may have only been released in certain countries, meaning their mass release on a digital distribution platform like Steam, Virtual Console, PSN, or Xbox Marketplace would be necessary to take it to a wider audience. Duh, my toes. Obviously, games that have already received a re-release on any of those platforms won't be included, nor will games that were released as part of a compilation be considered. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this snatcher menace. Number 10, The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Capcom and Disney had a great partnership in the 80s and 90s, bringing us some classic platformers like DuckTales and Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Although, one of their great games has been rather forgotten to history, and it's a shame because it's great. In this title, Mickey has a trio of costumes and a number of power-ups to choose from when traversing the large levels filled with hidden crevices that reward the gamer who is happy to take their time in every meticulously designed stage. Sort of a Metroidvania light, secrets and special areas can only be accessed with the use of specific costumes. Coupled with bright, vibrant graphics and richly detailed environments, we're sure this one has aged very well. <laughs> Number 9, Panzer Dragoon series. The Sega Saturn had a notoriously difficult lifespan, but these games managed to be a rare ray of light for the cursed system. The Panzer Dragoon games are a set of rail shooter titles, where you rode on the backs of dragons that can shoot lasers. This is except for Panzer Dragoon Saga, which switched the genre to an RPG, but did not lose its creative quality. The series as a whole created a world rich in atmosphere with beautiful environments, intense combat, and some really, really cool looking dragons. Number 8, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Pizza power! <laughs> The closest we've ever gotten to a modern re-release of this game was a full remake titled Turtles in Time Reshelled. Unfortunately, it sucked. Pizza time. What made the original so great was its easy to learn combos mixed in with some charming 2D visuals that captured the spirit of the original show. And of course, a really kick-ass soundtrack. Red King Shell! Red King Man, Shell! I just had a shower! Here, the turtles travel to various periods of Earth's history to reclaim the stolen Statue of Liberty, and we'd love to do much of the same by having another taste of this retro side-scrolling carnage. Cowabunga! Number 7, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Mr. Monroe. Your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. You don't need to be a Trekkie to love this first-person shooter. There's obviously still plenty for fans of the show to get stuck into, but developers Raven Software ensured that it was a high-quality game before implementing the usual fan service. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Borrowing many elements from Half-Life, the level design and graphics are exceptional, while the action is driven by a story that remains respectful to the source material. To this day, it maintains its status as probably the best Star Trek game ever through its combination of an original story, existing lore, and kick-ass action. If you ever wanted to fight the Borg up close and personal, this is the game you want to play. Nice shoot, Monroe. Number 6, Snatcher. Welcome to Outer Heaven! Table for one? If the Metal Gear series has grown a little too bloated for your taste, then this point-and-click adventure game is a great throwback to Hideo Kojima before his breakout with Metal Gear Solid. Mashing together various 80s sci-fi influences, you play as Gillian Seed, a Blade Runner-inspired detective trying to catch mysterious beings who are taking over the human cyberpunk city. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Kojima throws in a number of references to his more well-known series, but that still never detracts from the dark world he has created, while its adult themes and imagery are a rarity for a game from this era. Jeez, those things don't go down easy. So, this is a snatcher, huh? Number 5, Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. There's nothing quite like being thrown into the Star Wars universe firsthand, and this rail shooter was a great means to experience battle scenes from the first trio of films. Using all the power of an arcade cabinet, large scale and one on one battles are faithfully recreated in a title that was the series' definitive video game tie in at the time. <laughs> 
every laser blast, TIE fighter scream, or lightsaber clash sounds just right to authentically transport you into the cockpit of an X-Wing or put you right in Luke's shoes. However, unlike many amazing arcade games of the era, this one never got a home console release, so not only is a digital re-release ideal, it's long overdue. The Force is with you, but you are not a Jedi yet. Number 4. Saiken Densetsu 3, aka Secret of Mana 2. <laughs> The mid-90s were flush with quality action RPGs, and this sequel to Secret of Mana is quite possibly one of the best of the 16-bit generation, which is a travesty for Western gamers, as it was never officially released outside of Japan, and only ever reached these foreign shores through unofficial fan translations. What was unique here, at least for 1995, was that the story would change depending on who you picked as a party member, meaning it was satisfyingly replayable. Since its predecessor was given a wider release and has even been ported to mobile platforms, Square should really make up for their mistakes of 20 years ago and finally give Secret of Mana 2 its proper worldwide re-release. Number 3. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 The Pro Skater line of games have fallen on rough times recently, so it would be very nice to be reminded of how good the series can be. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is widely regarded as one of the best games ever, and it definitely kickstarted the craze for extreme games, so how hasn't it been re-released for major platforms? The graphics may look a little tired these days, but the addictive gameplay, backed by an epic soundtrack, is utterly timeless. Park Editor feature was the first of its kind, and with the modern power of the internet, millions could potentially share their own parks and revel in each other's sliver of nostalgia. <laughs> Number 2, Mother 3. If you follow video games online, you've no doubt heard the constant cries of Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3! The final installment of the beloved Mother series of RPGs was only released in Japan, and now, a decade after that initial release, the time could finally be right for a virtual console re-release of a game that should have been known as Earthbound 2 to North American players. <laughs> Previous entries have both had a re-release, so it would make sense to complete the trilogy and give fans an official taste of the unique wit and immense story that will inevitably make you laugh and cry. For a handheld title, it was exceptional, but it could be taken to a whole new level of appreciation with the worldwide console release it truly deserves. Before we reveal our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Number 1, GoldenEye 007. This legendary FPS is one of those games about which seemingly every gamer has a story or two to tell. It might be a tale about driving a tank through the streets of St. Petersburg or diving off the dam in single player, but it will most likely be about the riot they had with their friends in multiplayer. That mode goes down in gaming folklore as one of the best ever, providing thrills that modern local multiplayer games often struggle to live up to. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the game's reimagining on the Wii did not call into question the original status as the best Bond game ever, and until it receives a worthy challenger, we'll be more than happy trolling our friends as Oddjob. Hey man, if you can pick the character, it's not cheating, okay? We both agreed you couldn't use Oddjob. He's too short, he's impossible to shoot! Is it really so hard to look down, James? Do you agree Sorry. with our list? What classic titles have you always wanted to play on a modern platform? You're going to pay! For more retro top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We are now entering phase two. And when we do, not only this city, but the entire world will be ours to command.